as a first example let us consider let x i be a sequence of i a d random variables with common probability mass function that is a probability of x i take the value 1 that is p and the probability of x i takes the value 0 that is 1 minus p where p is lies between 0 to 1. It is basically a Bernoulli trials. You have a sequence of random variable with the common probability mass function. We define a random variable x which is sum of uh, 10 random variables. The question is find for p is equal to 1 by 2 find for p is equal to 1 by 2 find probability of x is less than or equal to 4 exactly. The second one probability of x is less than or equal to 4 approximately using central limit theorem CLT. Let us go for uh, finding uh, <coughs> this probability exactly the first one x is the uh, sum of first ra 10 random variables each random variable is Bernoulli distributed therefore, the x is going to be binomial distributed with the parameters 10 comma 1 by 2. each one is a Bernoulli distributed with the parameter 1 by 2 therefore, uh, all are uh, n such independent Bernoulli distributed random variable therefore, x is binomial distributed random variable with the parameters 10 comma 1 by 2. So, now you can find out the probability of x is less than or equal to 4 that is summation i is equal to 0 to 4 10 c i p power i 1 minus p power 10 minus i. If you do the simplification, you will get the answer 0 0.3770. This is by finding the probability exactly because you know the distribution of x. The second part finding the probability approximately using CLT. For that, we can use the mean and variance of uh, x without using the distribution of x. So, if you want to find out the probability of x is less than or equal to 4 approximately, first we will find out what is the expectation of x. That is nothing but uh, expectation of sum of uh, 10 random variables. So, the mean is going to be p. So, 10 times p. So, 10 into 1 by 2 that is equal to 5. Similarly, you can find uh, the variance of x that is going to be variance of sum of random variables that is going to be <coughs> 10 into p into 1 minus p that is equal to 5 by 2. So, to apply the central limit theorem, we need uh, those random variables to be IIDs and mean and variance should be known. Then you can find out the probability approximately using a central limit theorem.
So, the probability of x less than or equal to 4 that is same as the probability of x minus mean, mean is a 5 divided by square root of variance that is 5 by 12 that is less than or equal to 4 minus 5 divided by square root of 5 by 12. That is uh, approximately probability of I am replacing x minus 5 divided by square root of 5 by 2 approximately with the standard normal distribution less than or equal to this is by the central limit theorem. The first step uh, probability of x is less than or equal to 4 that is same as probability of x minus 5 divided by square root of 5 by 2 less than or equal to 4 minus 5 divided by square root of 5 by 2. After subtracting the mean and the standard deviation that is approximately a standard normal I am using this approximation symbol that is less than or equal to 4 divided minus 5 divided by square root of 5 by 2 that is going to be minus 0.63. That is nothing but uh, when you have a standard normal distribution probability density function z is equal to 0 and this is the probability density function of z. So, minus 0.63 somewhere uh, suppose this is a point of minus 0.63. So, this probability that is nothing but uh, we usually we make the notation. So, E of z is minus infinity to z 1 divided by square root of 2 pi e power minus t square by 2 dt. So, this is nothing but uh, psi of minus 0.63. So, from the table one can find uh, what is the psi of minus 0.63 when psi is defined in the form of minus infinity to z 1 divided by square root of 2 pi e power minus t square by 2. This value is going to be 0.2663. So, when you find out approximately probability of x is less than or equal to 4 that is approximately 0.2663 by using a central limit theorem whereas uh, by getting the exact value you are getting 0.3770. You are getting exact answer because we know the distribution of this random variable x. Many times uh, when you add the random variables you may not be able to easily get the distribution of the random variable. In that case, in that case one can always apply the central limit theorem to find out the approximate probability not the exact probability. So, exact probability is possible only if you know the distribution whereas, uh, if you know mean and variance and all the random variables are independent need not be identical still you can go for finding the approximate probability using the central limit theorem. We will discuss one more problem. <coughs> Example 2. A fair die, a fair dice is rolled thousand times. The question is find the probability, find the probability that the number 4 appears at least 150 times. find the probability that uh, the number 4 appears at least 150 times. Here we did not say that to use the central limit theorem, but uh, 
you can apply the central limit theorem because of the difficulty while getting the answer for this or the computation is very difficult therefore we go for the central limit theorem let x denotes the number of times the number 4 is obtained and the question is what is the probability that x is going to be greater than or equal to 150 x is the number of times the number 4 is uh, obtained and the question is uh, what is the probability that x is greater than or equal to 150 since a fair dice is uh, rolled uh, 1000 times uh, independently therefore you can conclude uh, x follows uh, sum of uh, 1000 Bernoulli distributed random variable with the parameter of getting a number 4 probability is uh, 1 by 6 therefore the parameter is 1000 comma 1 by 6 the n is 1000 and the probability of success p is 1 by 6 by computing probability of x is greater than or equal to 150 is nothing but by using this uh, formula that is uh, i is equal to 150 to 1000 of uh, thousand c i 1 by 6 power i 5 by 6 power 1000 minus i to get this result you need uh, factorials which involve which comes from the 1000 c i which is very difficult or the negation is uh, 1 minus summation i is equal to 0 to 140 and both are tedious uh, calculation therefore we are going for getting the approximate probability instead of exact probability that means we won't use the binomial distribution for the random variable x whereas uh, we will use uh, only the mean and variance of the random variable x not the distribution because if you use the distribution you can get the exact probability but computationally it is not feasible so we apply the central limit theorem apply central limit theorem for that uh, you need a mean of that random variable mean since it is a binomial distribution the mean is going to be n into p or uh, even you can use the mean of each Bernoulli distributed random variable then you can just multiply by 1000 so that is going to be 1000 multiplied by 1 by 6 this is going to be the mean and you can get the variance of x uh, that is going to be 1000 multiplied by p into 1 minus p so this is going to be the variance of x now i can apply the clt that is a probability of x is greater than or equal to 150 that is same as probability of x minus mean if you simplify that is 500 divided by 3 divided by I simplify that uh, it is uh, 25 times square root of 2 divided by 3 greater than or equal to 150 minus uh, 500 divided by 3 divided by 25 times square root of 2 by 3 this is same as approximately probability of z where z is where z is a standard normal distribution greater than or equal to so this quantity is a minus 1.41 4 that is same as 1 minus psi of minus 1.414 where the psi is defined in the same way in the earlier problem 
So, if you see the table for the psi of 1.414, you will get the answer that is 1 minus 0 0.07864. So, this is 0.9213. In this problem, we are not able to get the exact probability even though we know the distribution. Even though we know the distribution of uh, x is binomial distribution computationally it is not possible, but by applying the central limit theorem we are able to find out the probability of x is greater than or equal to 150. That is the advantage with the central limit theorem as long as uh, at least a second order moment exists and the random variables are uh, independent need not be identical. And sum of random variable for larger n approximately a normal distribution. In other words, sum of random variables their mean divided by the standard deviation will be approximately standard normal distribution by using central limit theorem. So, with this uh, we are completing uh, this model of uh, limiting distributions with the three lectures. First lecture is modes of convergence second one is law of large numbers in that we discuss the weak law of as well as the strong law of large numbers. Then finally, we discuss the central limit theorem with the proof and uh, two examples. Mm -hmm.